All right, Hannah. Well, up next, we've got to talk about our favorite cranky old socialist, Bernie Sanders, because he's making quite the stir because he's actually cashing out on an anti-capitalism event in a way that is honestly just hilarious. Yeah. So nobody hates slash loves capitalism more than Bernie Sanders. Like he has quite the grift worked out for himself where he has become a multi, multi, multi millionaire in a capitalist system basically based off his bashing and misrepresentations of capitalism. And this is just sort of the latest iteration of that. But when I saw this article come across my newsfeed, I laughed out loud. Like an event to sell a book about how much you hate capitalism. It's yeah. The jokes write themselves. And honestly, they're not even that funny anymore because I'm kind of getting tired of it. <laughs> like this guy's always profiteering off of his grift against capitalism. Yeah, so we've got some reporting here from the Daily Caller. Democrat Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont is charging up to $95 to attend his anti-capitalist book tour. The event will promote his new book, It's Okay to Be Angry About Capitalism, and is hosted on March 1st at the Anthem in Washington, D.C. It's a nice place. Uh, the book retails for $28, and tickets go on sale February 3rd at 10 a.m. on Ticketmaster, which, ironically enough, I'm pretty sure he's complained about recently as that company. Um, so up to $95 for the good seats at this anti-capitalism event, it's, it's funny to me cause you know, it's kind of a dumb shtick like, oh, socialist makes money. Like they do have to exist in society. Sure. But they don't have to profit quite so much as they do. And they should see that like their own personal success is actually a good example of why capitalism is an inherently good thing, right? Like capitalism is all about mutual trade and like voluntary exchange. People, some people, I don't know who they are or what drugs they smoke, but they are, it is more valuable. They will get more benefit out of attending this event than they value $95. And so Bernie gets $95, which is worth it to him to host this event that times however many people attend. And they get an experience that's worth to them that amount of money. So it's a win-win by definition. And that is the case for most things in capitalism, almost all things that are voluntary. Um, and so it's just funny to me because this, this whole thing is ironic. It's an anti-capitalism thing, but it's inherently showing like why capitalism is good just in the fact that it's happening and working out for all parties involved. Well, yes. And I think that this perfectly exemplifies the problems with Bernie's ideology, which is actually all the freak over the place. And we could spend a lot of time talking about this. But Bernie loves to tout socialism, right? And not like he likes to say he's a democratic socialist. But the programs that he points to, the things he wants to implement, look a lot closer to things that are in place in Venezuela or Cuba, where people are starving and cannot get basic medicines or toilet paper versus places like Switzerland or Norway or Denmark or Finland. I actually did an entire episode about this on base, about how the countries he points to that he says he wants us to model and that he claims are democratic socialist models. No, they're not. They actually usually rank higher on the freedom index score than we do in the U.S. They actually have higher rates of capitalism and free trade and free movement and, and all the things that are actually... Um, under our core ideology versus the U.S. at times. And so he, he likes to actually point to the success of capitalism while claiming it's socialism, and it's very convoluted. On the other hand, he calls out things in the U.S. that are legitimate problems, right, from cronyism and from big government, but he blames them on capitalism. Capitalism is literally just a market system. It basically says, I have this, you want to buy it? Okay, great, we trade. That's, I mean, that is at its, at its very base what capitalism is. Everything else that you're mad about traces right back to government intervention and impediments on capitalism and the free market. So the fact that he can't put two and two together here is why I just don't understand how anybody actually listens to this man and takes him seriously. He's a giant old hypocrite. He speaks out of both sides of his mouth. Hardly anything he ever says makes sense. And it's kind of sad because I think his type is the sort we could come together and agree on the problem and actually work for solutions if he was genuine. But the solutions would be actually scaling back government and removing power from people who are profiting off of. And since he's profiting off of it, he's not like likely to actually come to the table and work on that sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know about you. I'm excited for this book. Uh, so here's here's <laughs> the uh, the title is It's Okay to Be Angry About Capitalism. Uh, yeah, we know. You've made a whole career off that, bro. Uh, and this is the description according to Penguin Random House. Senator Bernie Sanders takes on the billionaire class and speaks blunt truths about our country's failure to address the destructive nature of a system that is fueled by uncontrolled greed and rigidly committed to prioritizing corporate profits over the needs of ordinary Americans. 
So the first thing that jumps out to me is that when Bernie first made his career and he was pushing all this stuff, he always railed about the millionaires and billionaires. But they've they've made these supercuts of him over the years where suddenly he stopped saying millionaires and he now he only talks about billionaires. And that happens to coincide with the fact that Bernie Sanders is now a millionaire and now has three homes. And I don't begrudge him that. I don't begrudge anyone their success. But it's a little ironic to me that he went from blaming things on the millionaire and billionaire class to now just the billionaires. And then, like, just also it's just wrong. Like, we've talked about this, but capitalism has done more to uplift the poor than anything known to man. Free trade, right? We've seen exponential growth in, in income levels and living standards because of capitalism. And billionaires are not the reason people are still struggling. Someone like Jeff Bezos, in order to get rich, had to literally provide millions of people with cheaper goods and better services at the the at their fingertips, created too many jobs to count the economic benefits. One study estimates that innovators who get rich off their innovations only still capture about 2% of the total economic growth created. Uh, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty wild that people demonize the, the rich as if they're causing all our problems. And in the, in the cases where they are, it's exactly what you said. It's usually where they're buddying up with government to somehow rig a market or an industry. It's not because they're being too brilliant at free marketing and capitalisming. And that's why people are struggling in a certain area. That's just not the case. See, I want to go back to something you said, though. I do begrudge Bernie getting rich because he didn't get rich off of innovation, off of how business people actually get rich, offering something of quality to the public. He got rich being a government leech, being a government cockroach, sucking off the public teat for decades and decades and decades, which is very typical of socialists. They're always trying to grift and live off others. He didn't actually do anything other than run for office, collect a paycheck, and then use his platform to start selling more of his grift. So my I do push, my only pushback on that is I agree with you in terms of the government's salary, but like when he's selling his books for $28, that's but capitalism. It that is, is. But my point is his books wouldn't be worth crap if he wasn't in office and didn't have a name that he got True. off the taxpayer dollars. So like, I just, I would say like in contrast to the business people he hates so much who are actually having to create value and offer products and services that do improve the world, that do improve the economy. He hasn't done that. He is literally just a grifter. That well, he has served- provided us with content to roast. <laughs> And, and for true. that, we appreciate him. For that, I guess he is contributing to our bottom line. So 